Yes, indeed, man. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and tonight, I'm going to continue my NFL Week 1 previews. Um, tonight, I'm going I'm to dip into the AFC a little bit, man. Um, I'm going to go with the Florida you know, matchup as you have the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Miami Dolphins. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to reach out to me, DM me, support the channel, contribute to the channel, whatever the case may be, all that information going to be down in the description box. So um, come highlight at your boy, yo. All right, man, Jags and Dolphins, man, sneaky good game. You know, um, going a little bit under the radar, but when you look at it, um, at its core, it's a pretty good matchup, man. Um, first looking at the Jaguars, man, they're coming off a very, very disappointing in the last year. Uh, they started off like five and two, six and two, or something like that. Uh, excuse me, was clearly ahead in the AFC South, and they just faltered down the stretch, yo. Um, they could have beat the lowly Tennessee Titans on the road. You know, they played against a dead man walking in Mike Vrabel, and couldn't beat them. And, you know, that allowed the Houston Texans to win the AFC South. Um, and Trevor Lawrence, man, had a very, yeah, type of year. 21 touchdowns and 14 interceptions, man. For them, that's not going to get it done. But he got this bag. Uh, shout out to him. I'm all about the, the get your bag. I'm, I'm the leader of the get your bag train. And Trevor Lawrence got his bag, man. Um... He also got a new wide receiver in the first round. Shout out to my boy, LSU Tiger, Brian Thomas. Um, he also gets Gabe Davis from Buffalo. Um, and if you watched a lot of Buffalo Bills playoff games, you know, big game Dave, Dave um, Gabe is, is a real thing. Um, Evan Ingram's a solid tight end. Uh, Travis Etienne, Jennings, Louisiana, shout out to him. Um, really productive running back. Evan Ingram at tight end. Uh, they got some, they got, they got a Christian Kirk as your third receiver. They got some options over there in Jacksonville, man. This offense got a lot more firepower than I think people realize. And then defensively, you know, they got Tyron Walker, former first round pick and Josh, um, Hines Allen, I think his name is, but y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, and you know, they got some solid linebacker play and they got, you know, Campbell in the secondary, um, a former high draft pick. Um, good young roster, but you know, they get overlooked a lot with all the hype around the Houston Texans and the Indianapolis Colts, you know, with, um, Anthony Richardson coming back. Now looking at the Miami Dolphins, man, um, really good season for them. Faltered down the stretch though, um, gave away the division, uh, to the Buffalo Bills after they had a, a nice sizable lead in the division. But uh, they broke through, made the playoffs too. I, I want to say led the league in passing last year. Uh, stayed healthy, which is more important than anything. And um, you know, he did his thing. He played well. Um, Tyreek Hill, who people's the players voted as the best player in the whole NFL. You know, had over seventeen hundred yards. Man, dude is an absolute monster. You know, whether you think he's the top player or not, he's that guy. <laughs> you know. Uh, Jalen Waddle, Penguin Man, solid, solid number two. One of the better number twos in the league. Um, you know, they get John Lou Smith, an athletic tight end. Uh, and they got a nice, you know, running back duo with a lot of speed in Raheem Mosta and, um, Devin A. Chain. Um, and then Mike McDaniel is like a little, you know, mad scientist, like a Dexter's Laboratory. <laughs> mad scientist just coming up with all kind of, you know, offensive schemes to just, put up like 70 points every now and then um and then defensively you know they're all gonna be without Bradley Chubb for a little bit but they get Jalen Phillips back who was having a really really good season before the injury last year um some solid linebackers led by Long and of course they got Jalen Ramsey you know in the um in the secondary at corner and they was able to get um you know Hoyer away prior away from from the Buffalo Bills, yo, that's a big addition to their secondary. Um, the key for the Jacksonville Jaguars to win this game, oof, man, they gotta, they gotta score, man, they gotta score. Miami gonna score, so 
they got a score. They got a lot of, they got some good offensive personnel. So they got to go out there and they got to put points on the board, man. And hopefully to, you know, get a, a tip pass interception or something like that to keep up. And for the Dolphins, man, just do what they do, man. They at home. Um, it's going to be warm weather. Um, two are like going slinging around out there with Tyreek and Waddle and all them. Just do what they do, man. Um, as far as my prediction, I think this is going to be an actually good game. Yo, Jacksonville, I think, is a little tougher than people getting them credit for. I think some people are writing them off because of the way last season ended. But in this matchup, I think I'm going to go with the Miami Dolphins. Um, simply they're at home. Um, you know, they usually get off to a fast start. Uh, and I don't think nobody in that secondary could keep up with Tyree Hill, man. Um, you know, Campbell and those guys gave up some passing yards last year. Um, if, if, if you know, Tyron Walker and Josh Hines Allen don't get the two, I think it's going to be a long day for the secondary. So um, I'm going to go with the Miami Dolphins to win a very entertaining game over the Jacksonville Jaguars in the all-Florida matchup. Um, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.